Here. Do the Quedo. Some pitching practice keeps Christian Spitz entertained while he waits. But when a bus or limo pulls up, <laughs> he goes running. His eyes on the prize. Mr. Zober, will you sign my baseball, please? Thank you. 13-year-old Christian collects autographs from the Royals and every visiting team. I got Jose Altuve. He was really nice. He was signing for a lot of people. He's part of a group that lingers outside the tunnel where teams enter the K. The players are usually really nice. I think I'm a kid. I mean, they like to sign for kids a little bit more, but adults, they sign for a few. And he makes friends with the other collectors at Kaufman. Just like to be around baseball a lot and got to know a lot of the ball players and uh, go out of town. He might look young, but he knows his stuff. Christian can spot the cars every player drives, like Salvador Perez. He has like a red Hummer and it, he like, he always drives like kind of fast through there and it's pretty cool. But it's not just the signatures he loves, it's meeting his idols. I just, I just like watching them play and it's pretty cool to see how they interact with each other. And it's gonna be interesting today and I hope the Royals can pull it off. We're just getting to Minute Maid Park and I was hoping to find some Royals fans out exploring downtown Houston. But they're not here yet. So instead, I thought I'd talk to a few Astros fans about what they think of the Royals. My name's Danny. I'm a Houston Astros fan. Uh, don't expect much for y'all Royal fans out there. The Kansas City Royals, they've been kind of a, a team lost in purgatory for a while. They have the power in their lineup. They have Kendrys, Morales, then they are, their bullpen's pretty stacked, a lot better than the Astros, I'll give them that. I, I think they got it coming to them tomorrow, I gotta be honest. The Royals last year are exactly what the Astros are this year. No one had expectations of what they were gonna be, and the Astros surprised a lot of people. Ever since I was little, I, I love the Astros. I never bandwagoned, jumped on. Go Astros! We have been following some Houston-bound Royals fans on Twitter. I'll catch up with them tomorrow. For Minute Maid Park, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. As a sea of orange floods downtown Houston, a few flecks of royal blue stick out in the crowd. Let's go Royals! Ignacio Armijo is sleeping in a hostel to save money. When you're in a budget, you got to do it different. You got to park outside, walk, but it's doable. The broke college student drove all the way from KC. It's all about the Astros, Joe. <laughs> he hasn't even bought a ticket yet. I had a ticket for $19, but the connection dropped. So he's scrambling online. I don't have anything else to do. And talking a little smack while he waits. Let him get excited. You know, they have to live for something, you know? <laughs> he's not worried at all. You got you to come in and enjoy it. Baseball is second. Like, enjoy the city first. The baseball is going to come in. It's like... He's gonna come. Others stay with friends, relatives. I have a daughter who lives here. <laughs> so I can't. No Royals! But the few Royals fans who live in Texas describe their existence with one word. Lonesome. Because everyone else wears Astros gear, but I'm fierce fan. It's tough to be a Royals fan in enemy territory. In fact, I'm even having trouble conducting interviews. Royals fans are always elite. They're always trustworthy. This is what we do. But for most fans, baseball is a game of love. Man, she's got an arm. These are actually his gloves. And I met him a couple years ago. I'm a big times Royal fan now. Yeah. My friends and my husband. Uh, it's interesting. I have to put up with her quite a bit. But uh, today it'll be fun whenever we win. Go! Go! Royals fans come from far and wide. Yeah! and they always find a way to cheer their team. Shake it off, baby, shake it off! Armijo found his tickets. Not front row, but behind the plate, in a sitting down, bottom bowl. This is as happy as you're gonna see me. <laughs> in Houston, Texas, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. After a rough weekend for Royals fans, It's nice to kick back and celebrate, but how do you even describe the highs and lows like we witnessed in Houston? We're going to game five. Let's go. Let's go to game five. Just magical. Awesome. Unbelievable. Crazy. Spectacular. Chris Stone came all dressed up, much to the amusement of the orange-shirted Astros fans throughout Minute Maid Park. We were in the upper deck, hey, and all these Astros fans were giving me all this crap in hell, and I 
they were like, you better go home, you better go 6-2. Everybody's like, yeah, this one, this one was like. But then. Hey, hey, Denny. Hey, Denny, man. Yeah, base is hey. loaded. We got it. Five. Clutch hits. As a Royals fan, here was the best part. When the Astros were winning, Minute Maid Park was loud. The dome was like an echo chamber. But when the Royals hit their stride, the crowd grew silent, and the stands cleared out. We get all these runs, go up 7-6, and nobody's giving me anything anymore. The comeback kids will play game five at home. Never over until it is over. And they came back all the way, four runs down, and went on to win it. In Houston, Texas, Nathan Vickers, KCTV5 News. This is how we do it. You cannot get me. I'm telling you.